Just coming into the boat barn, coming aboard the best chance too, and I'm getting her ready for the upcoming season. I'm gonna take the time to show you what we have done with this boat electronically to help make it the most successful tournament fishing boat on Lake Michigan. The best chance too is a 1985 3600 Tierra Open. We've had many, many successful charters. We've won a whole lot of tournaments with it. And let's just say it's the pride of the fleet. On this dash, we have three Humminbird graphs as well as an autopilot. Why do we have three? Well, there's multiple reasons. One, we have enough space for it. Two, we like each unit to have its own job. Our first unit is a Helix 12. This is our designated radar unit. You can see videos in the past on how we use our offshore mode as well as our harbor mode. So check those videos out. I will have them linked in the descriptions. Next, we have a Solix 12 over here. Solix 12 is our primary fish finder. We have this Solix and this Helix surface mounted so that if we're in the back of the boat, we can still see what's happening. And then we have a Solix 10 right here. This is flush mounted into the dash and it keeps it nice and clean. This is our designated GPS. It's where we keep our waypoints, our tracks, other vital information, such as our heading and our speed over ground. And we keep our heading with the autopilot. This autopilot is by far the best autopilot that we have ever used. I cannot begin to brag about this autopilot enough. People say, oh, it's just an autopilot. Well, I'm here to tell you, on the days that you have fish, that are not just speed sensitive, but directional sensitive, and you have to find the current just right in order to entice a bite for the rest of your lures is imperative. Also because we're pulling a dozen to 15 rods at a time. So it is important that you keep everything going the direction that you want or need. It does a great job on not just this vessel, but our other boat, the best chance, which is the 30 foot Sea Ray, that boat was notorious for scooting in, out, you name it, not anymore. That autopilot keeps our direction absolutely better than any other unit we've ever had. I cannot stress it enough. So not only do these units each have their own job, we also have an ethernet switch on board so that if desired or needed, we can change that job for each unit. My favorite part about this Humminbird setup besides the ethernet is that it's also a part of the one boat network. The one boat network includes our fish hawk as well as the cannon opposites. This makes our tournament fishing team much more effective because all vital information from the fish hawk and the fish finder are right there at the back of the boat. Not only is all the information on the back of the boat, it works the other way. Each one of your downriggers is, le is listed right here on the RTS window of the screen. So there you have it, folks. This is the layout of the cockpit. If you want to see the layout of the back of the boat, be sure to check out that video in the descriptions called Best Chance 2 Back Deck Walk Around. Good luck this upcoming season, and we'll see you on the lake.